but also in Python you are able to use keyword arguments. Like that. Name equals sign Bob, comma, age equals sign 25. Let's now run this code. And I see that function was executed and here was expected result. Name is Bob and age is 25. And now I am able to change order of those keyword arguments. Like that. First will be age with 25 value and next will be name with value Bob. Let's now run application and the result is the same. It means that with keyword arguments, where you explicitly specify name of the parameters, age and name, order does not matter. Also, if you want, you could mix positional arguments and keyword arguments, like that. First will be, let's say, Bob. Let me remove this keyword argument from here. Let's pass Bob as positional argument, it will be first. And next will be keyword argument. Let's now run code and the result is the same. Bob and 25 here. It means that you are able to mix positional arguments and keyword arguments or named arguments. Now let's create one more function and let's name it sum, def sum. And here will be, let's say, two parameters a and b. And I want to return sum of a and b, like that. And let's here call this function and let's immediately print result of the function call to the terminal and here will be sum with two arguments 5 and 2. Let's now run application and I get 7 here in the output. But what if I want to sum all arguments that are passed in the function call? For instance, 5, 2, 10, 15 and so on. If I try to run application now, I'll get type error. Sum takes two positional arguments, but four were given. And that's reasonable. Here we specified only two parameters, but we passed four arguments. And that will lead to such kind of error in Python. But how we could solve this problem? What if I want to call function with any number of arguments? And here inside of the function I want to sum all supplied arguments. For that inside of the parameter section I could use following syntax star and args. And here now let's print the terminal args, like that. Let's see what we'll get here. And on this line I get tuple with values 5, 2, 10 and 15. It means that now we are able to call this sum function with any arguments quantity. It does not matter. With such syntax in the parameter section, this args variable will be defined inside of the function and it will actually contain all arguments that were used in the function call. Let's print also type of the args, like that, let's run and I see class tuple. 